What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Golden State coming at you with a small, very small haul video of stuff I picked up from Stanley's Kamikaze. I think it's called Stanley's Kamikaze, yeah. Uh, hanging out with Tiva, Lord's Long Box for a short time. You know, it was one of those things where I just showed up the, you know, at the con and, and left pretty fast because I didn't want to stick around all day. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty busy, you know, these days, but uh, yeah. Uh, only went down there. Uh, Picked up a couple of uh, books and, uh, you know, stopped by, um, you know, a couple of booths. Uh, shout out to Rocket Comics for having some pretty good books over there for me to pick up as well. And, uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Comic comic Fan, who I saw down there uh, working the booth. So it was pretty cool. You know, uh, it was the end of the con season and one of those things where I was kind of like, you know what? Um, I really didn't feel like, I, I didn't mind being down there. Just didn't feel like walking the floors all over the place, but... You know, I found some stuff, mostly hung out at Rocket Comics booth and picked up some stuff there. And, uh, you know, also other booths as well, like Planet Awesome Collectibles and, you know, and dashed around other other comic booths and such. And it was pretty cool. But uh, without further ado, let me uh, go through what I picked up because it's not a huge list. It's more like uh, quality over quantity this time around. So, got a filler here. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 134. Uh, I believe this is the first appearance of the Tarantula. I actually dug this character. I mean, it was, you know, I'm sure this character will never see the light of a silver screen, but, uh, I figured, you know, I need to fill my, uh, holes in my, my Spider-Man collection. I was tempted on getting an early Spider-Man, but I haven't gotten around to getting it yet, so. The person who was trying to sell it to me lives out here in the Bay Area, so we will, uh, probably talk about that guy later. But I picked this up, and I was pretty happy to get that, and, uh, also, the same booth, I picked up uh, this one. What if, Astonishing X-Men. Um, really didn't care, you know, about this story too much. I just like the cover. The cover's done by J. Scott Campbell. And, uh, yeah, uh, pretty cool uh, book to have in the collection. So, picked that up. Also picked up, uh, these are, these have been on my list for a long time. And, uh. I'm glad I finally picked it up. Uh, Amazing Adventures featuring Beast, number 12, and number 11. I believe this is his first foray into being the Beast. Like, actually, the furry, uh, you know, Beast, if I recall. Um, yeah, not in the greatest condition, but good enough to have, you know, and they're still readable. You know, like, this one has uh, some spine wear action going on there. But, uh, yeah, I mean... It was a cheap price for it, and I, was, I couldn't pass it up. So, um, glad to have that in the collection. Also, just fingering through some long boxes, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I used to like Excalibur back then, and I still do. But uh, I just saw this, and I, I really didn't know if this was, like, you know, anything special. But it was, like, cheap anyway. Anyway, it was, like, five bucks for the whole trade. You know, of uh, Captain Britain by Alan Davis and Jamie Delano. And, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I was, I like these old Marvel trades, you know, they're like real simple and, you know, they're just nothing special, you know, looking. I mean, they're, they're just old school trades, you know, and I, and I love stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, picked those up and, uh, picked up a couple of slabs. These are pretty cool slabs I picked up. Uh, this is, uh, the first one I got from Planet Awesome Collectibles. Uh, this one is... Amazing, not amazing, sorry. Uh, who am I apologizing to? Jesus. Spider-Man number one, and that is signed by Todd McFarlane, and it's a 9.6. Um, I do have one, but it's a green label. This one was in a, uh, you know, this one was in a CGC yellow label, and I had to get it if, if for that one, because I just, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, 9.6, okay, big deal. I mean, I was hoping for, I was hoping to be, They'd have one for a 9.8, but they didn't. All they had was a 9.6. I love the cover, you know. Todd McFarlane does some amazing covers, and this one's no different. So, I picked that up. Also, this one, this last book was staring at me in the face, and I was like, wait a minute, I better pick this one up. You know, and it just blew my mind. So, this one was... uh X-Men number 101, first appearance of the Phoenix. We all know that. Uh, what we don't know, and I'm sure some of you guys, 
I'm sure younger, you know, younger uh, viewers or collectors, you know, who, who've collected and are, aren't, you know, aware of the fact that Chris Claremont before used to sign not on the uh, the uh, logo. He, and nowadays he still signs on the logo, but before he never, before he just signed anywhere in the comic book. I got other books to show you that where he, where he signed away from the logo. But uh, the reason why he signed away from the logo on this book is because he put a remark in here and it reads, I am fire and life incarnate, which is a line from the book. So he wrote that on the logo instead and then signed below. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Uh, there you go. Uh, I am fire and life incarnate. And basically it's like the same picture in the book with the actual, the actual line. So, uh, Claremont wrote that on the book and, uh, yeah, and it was a 6.0. I mean, I didn't really care about the grade too much. I just like the fact that Claremont put a remark on here and signed it too. So that was pretty wild. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, the, you know, I only just went to the con for, it barely was a day. It was like a few hours and, you know, I'm, I actually, I could take that back. I said I was going to be done with the con season. Um, Berkeley Comic Con's having a, sh a small show. It's a small, like, little one-room show. And I'll probably go there this weekend. So, if I see any of you guys over in Berkeley, holler at me. Um, I'll probably be there for a few hours. Just look for some books as well. And who knows, I might do a whole video for that. But, uh, that's it, guys. Um, yep, I got nothing else for you guys. I might make another video or two or so before the next Wednesday pile. But, please give this thing a like. You know, uh, thumbs up. Um, let me see, comment below, tell me what you think, also, uh, subscribe, S subscription button's right around there somewhere, and, uh, yeah, as always, as always, guys, I'll talk to you later, peace.